Well, hello there. I didn't see you. I was just computering. Hard. What's that? You want to see what I've been coding? Sure, let me just... And clear my... Okay, that's cool. Well, don't just stand there. Come in, sit down. I have a story to tell you. A long, long time ago, a brave and handsome coder undertook a journey to create an entire layout using the bootstrap framework. <laughs> yes, this valiant soul wrote awesome codes all day and all night until there were no codes to be coderized. Well... Today is a new day, isn't it? And there's a new framework that must test its valor against the strength and the might of this wicked layout. Today, we turn our eyes off to the horizon and watch as the Zurb Foundation Framework uh, rides off into the sunset to slay the dragon. Nay, beast, nay, layout, whatever. Brothers and sisters, men of brawn, Women of beauty, grab your corn dogs and let us begin. <laughs> oh, the fun, the fun. Okay, this is the second video in the series called uh, The Bootstrap Frameworks Grids. No, wait. Uh, the second installment of the video series CSS Grid Frameworks. And today, as our introduction led on, we're using the Zurb Foundation Framework. If you missed the last time we did these videos, check out uh, this is the introduction video right here and it's magic. It's gonna explain a little bit more about what we're doing in depth because I'm just gonna take off from the start right now. But uh, in summary, I have a layout that I'm recreating with every framework one by one as they come. I've already done Bootstrap and I asked you guys to vote and overwhelmingly you asked to, um, to see the same layout done in of Zurb Foundation. Zurb Foundation, uh, for all intents and purposes, I would say is the biggest competitor uh, amongst all of the frameworks for Mindshare. Zurb is very similar to Bootstrap in a lot of ways. It, they, I think they kind of start from the same place and are trying to head towards the same goal, where a lot of the other frameworks are just kind of like coming from different places altogether. So, so if there were two that would be really, really comparable in like a head-to-head -head bout, it would probably be these two. And, and that's why I'm kind of excited to do it today. Because after I'm done with the video, um, taking you guys through making that same layout, so you get to see the different nuances, right? Like how does uh, Bootstrap attack this problem? How does Zurb attack this problem? When you're using a uh, foundation, what should you expect versus the videos that we've covered already using Bootstrap. Uh, after I've done this video, I'm going to give a summary of my thoughts. What are my takeaways from going through this experience? Now keep in mind that as a uh, front-end developer, I rarely use frameworks at all. Um, I don't use Bootstrap in my uh, professional work and I don't use uh, Foundation. So this is interesting for me. I mean, you can, you can kind of sit yourself in my seat and say, okay, from someone starting from zero, what are they going to look at for a framework? How would they approach it? And for you guys who are a little bit more versed in uh, Bootstrap and in uh, Zurb that we're going to, or the foundation that we're going to be doing today, uh, you're more than welcome to let me know in the comments the things, like the tricks, the, the, the little, um, you know, cool doodads that I missed out because, you know, as a first time user of this framework, um, I think that I might miss out on a, on a few things that might make it go a little bit smoother. But uh, in general, this is what you probably should expect if you're looking to try a new framework or, um, I don't know, this might be entertaining for veterans of the framework to be like, Travis, you're such a noob. But anyway, let's build. <laughs> 